best of days to everybody. Um, this is uh, what I'm hoping to be a quick video demonstrating how to implement smooth scrolling into your uh, React website. Um, now, the reason I'm putting this together is a couple weeks ago when I was first starting to put together a personal portfolio website uh, using React, since I'm still relatively new to it, I wanted to implement a scroll feature, but when using React, it's not as simple as using normal JavaScript or jQuery as I've previously been accustomed to in, with previous websites. So searching the web for the best way to use smooth scrolling, I came across this website um, or this page on Scotch.io. Uh, the page uh, uh, created by a James Quick, um, who, side note, has a whole bunch of other really good stuff on this website. I definitely suggest to check uh, any of this stuff out. Um, but anyways, I came across this uh, page, and I was super happy because I finally had an avenue to go to create the smooth scrolling, but it's you know all you need to read it and break it down and i'm the kind of person when it comes to learning it's at least a personal preference i like seeing videos and seeing things in front of me being demonstrated um so i know how it's actually done rather than me hoping i read something right and did it correctly so Again, the whole purpose of this video is to take the knowledge from this page here and make a super quick video showing how to, you know, implement smooth scrolling into your React app. Now, a super quick rundown of what I have here is, again, this is the site that I'm, you know, referencing talks about what smooth scrolling is, you know, instead of clicking a button, being taken directly to something, it smoothly scrolls to that section you want to show. It uh, breaks everything down with installing, um, importing, and using the link component to, you know, make it all work. Now, this guy even went as far as to make an actual starter project that you can easily clone off of GitHub, follow step by step, and get it all to work. Now, I'm not going that far, but I will be putting this link um, for the actual site in the notes uh, underneath this video. So if anyone wants to give this a look and get more detail uh, into how this works, absolutely please go ahead and do so. So again, gives you instructions on how to clone and yeah, some pictures on how to do everything. Uh, installing yada 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 and that's this is basically where I'm going to start um, this uh, this tutorial now what I have on my end so far a very simple react app I have the app JS which basically has a nav bar na uh, main section about and contact the nav bar basically an unordered list with the class name of nav bar with three list items you got main, which is simply one div called main section, same with about, same with contact. Now the way that those are broken apart is each one has a view height of 100 and a different background color so we can see them all separated. So when we pull up the actual site, it's right here. You have the nav bar and then you scroll and you know, you have all three of the pages. I apologize for the colors. I just picked three random ones and decided to go with it. So once this is all said and done, again, once you click on any one of these, it'll scroll straight to that page. Now, main is what we're already on. So if you clicked about, it'll scroll straight to about and contact will take you straight to contact about straight to about and just like that. So let's get this going. So first things first, I already have this terminal here running um, the uh, NPM start right now. So I really can't do anything here. So what I'm going to do is split the terminal with another one. So you'll see that it always already takes us to the directory of React Scroll Demo. So per the per first instruction here, we need to install this. 
So npm install react scroll. So let's go ahead and get that in there. And we'll give that a little bit. Let me go ahead and pause the video because I do not recall how long this takes. So one second. Holy crap, that was relatively quick. So let's go ahead and get to the next part here. So per the page here, again, we already have this installed. Now we want to go ahead and import uh, link animate scroll scroll from react scroll. Now scroll, we're not going to worry about. Um, I haven't had to utilize it at this point yet. The only thing that I can see uh, further down here is when you use it uh, as an additional function, it's a good way to do the scroll to top, scroll to bottom by using scroll. So that's not something I'm utilizing, at least for this tutorial. But again, if you come to this, uh, go to the link here and re uh, read up on this, you can see further on you know, how you can go about that. So what we're going to go ahead and do is, again, import link from React Scroll. And we need to import that on the navbar page. So So go ahead and get React Scroll in there. So now we need to make all these, instead of list items, they need to be links. So we're going to go ahead and grab this just as a uh, as filler or well, placeholder, whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and toss that right there. And the link is actually going to be main. This is going to go to main, so we can get rid of that. And you know, let's just go ahead and copy this. We have about and contact. Now, I didn't think ahead and think on how this might mess up the CSS. We'll find out once I. Uh, Go ahead and refresh everything. So we have that, we have that, and we had, yeah, so we're good right there. Let's go ahead and save. Let's see how the page looks. Yeah. All right, that's not a huge deal. I can always go ahead and fix that. But what we need to do is go to main, about, and contact, give each one of these an ID. Your ID will be main. Yours will be about save. And the last one here should be contact. Now, I know I kind of just rushed through all that and plugged everything in without much explanation, but that's the good thing about this is not much is really needed. You uh, you turn each one of these thing, uh, each one of the items into a link. Heck, we could probably just get rid of the unordered list because there's no list items within it. So let's go ahead and do that. Save it. Now, if I had done have done this correctly, this should work. So I'm at main. There's the about. And Okay, I knew there was something that was too good to be ch Ah, that's right. Main needs to be contact. Yeah, you can't go through making a tutorial without there being one hiccup. So there we go. We got the about and the contact. Now you wonder, you may wonder why is there a little gap here? Now that's when we're going to go a little bit further into this. Uh, the two takes you basically to the ID that is for that component. Again, this one being main. So there's the ID and so on and so forth. Again, you got one for about, you got one for contact. So main about contact. Now the page will give more specifics as to 
what all this stuff does. I mean, I can look over them really quick for you. Again, target to scroll to is the two. Uh, make link selected when scrolls at its targeted position. Smooth animates the scrolling. So I'm assuming if smooth was false, then it wouldn't be smooth. They'd just click straight to it. Now you notice that gap that I was just mentioning, that's the offset. That's basically a padding. So if we go ahead and get rid of all of that, save it again. Uh, we need something in there, so let's just go ahead and with zero. All right, let's go ahead and give it a save. Give it a refresh. Let's just scroll back to the top. About, boom, there we go. Nice and perfect. Easy peasy. And let's see if there's anything else that we could go ahead and show or mention. The offset again or offset, uh, as it states, it's like a padding. So if you want it to go a little bit above or below uh, the target, you just put in what the uh, what numbers you want, how many pixels or whatever that you want it to be adjusted by. Uh, the last thing here is gonna be duration, scroll of the animation. Um, it could be quick, it could be slow. So to you know show that a little bit, right now it looks like they're set at about half second. I can add another zero here for main, so let's say we go to about, but now we go back to main, it's going to take five seconds. Um, so yeah, it all comes down to how quick you want that to go. Um, the last thing I do want to mention is the active class. Now, active class is pretty sweet. Um, the way that it's set up is once you, like each one of these, you see active class, you'll see active class is active. So if I go into app.js and I do say uh, main section, I'll do it right underneath so it's a little bit more structured. Main section, uh, let's active. Let's say when you are there, when you are selected, we're going to give you a border bottom, let's just say one pixel uh, white, uh, no, solid white. Let's go with that. And you know what? Let's go ahead and copy that for each item here. So we got one for main, we got one for about, and one for contact. So let's go ahead and save that. So now We should, ah, it's not showing. All right, first let's go ahead and fix that nav bar issue because that is, who does five seconds, right? Okay, so what did I miss here? Let's go ahead and look at those instructions again. I guess sometimes it is good to read. So, you know, let's do it like that. Instead of just going straight to, let's just call it what it is. It'll be nav bar. That wasn't how they had it though. It was dot active. Okay. I totally went all wrong about that. And I do apologize for wasting everybody's time right there. So now it should take. There we go. Again, it's really friggin' small, and I wish I would have thought about that when I uh, put everything together. But again, when you get to each spot, it'll add that class to it. And what's nice is you don't even need to click it, because as soon as you scroll, as soon as that section is the active section, you'll see it goes ahead and adds that underline, or any other type of uh, attribute you want to add to the uh, that nav element once it's selected. So that uh, basically uh, covers it. Um, I, I hope I explained it cleanly and uh, easily. Again, uh, simple steps. You just go ahead and uh, install React Scroll. Um, use link, uh, import link from React Scroll and use this as your template and don't forget to close the link, uh, uh, close the link, add the name, 
uh, and adjust as you need to. Again, the key thing that, again, could stump many people is make sure the two is going to be the ID that you want the section to be. Um, aside from that, uh, thanks for taking the time to give this a look. Uh, if there's any questions, uh, you can feel free to hit me up in the comments. But uh, truth be told, if there's any questions, you're going to want to reach out to Genius that put this page together. It's definitely not me. Hit up Mr. James quick. Follow him on Twitter. And uh, yeah, thanks for taking the time. Have a good one.